So the new Elysium Owen Tense by Roger Parfum is here. We know that the Parfum Cologne version actually came back in 2017. So here we are six years later in 2023 and we have this flanker and it does smell quite different from the original. I think it's perfectly timed in its release. It's a fantastic fragrance for the summer months. I'm excited to give you my thoughts on this fragrance. So make sure to stay tuned. Now, before I begin today's episode and I give you my thoughts on Elysium O Intense by Roja Parfum, I'll tell you about the notes, the performance, the comparisons, the evolution, so on and so forth. But I do want to start the video off by saying that if you're a fan of fragrance related content, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Hit the bell icon so you could be notified whenever I do upload future videos to the channel. And of course, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or if you took something of value from today's episode, it would really mean a lot to me. Now, the original Elysium with the bright, the citrus, the lime, the lemon, the effervescent qualities, it's aromatic at times as well. It's a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. I've been wearing it for so many years and I truly enjoy it. The Parfum Cologne is just so diffusive and it wraps around you and creates this fulfilling cloud that is enormous for some people and the performance has always been quite complimented, especially in that initial hour to the projection is actually quite loud. Here we have the O Intense version. Now, whenever we think of Intense, we think of a fragrance that is going to be stronger, darker, richer, juicier, better longevity, better performance, better sillage, all of these things. However, when I smelled it for the first time, I said to myself, wait a minute, this smells quite different from Elysium. So you'll come to find out that even as far as the note breakdown is concerned, it actually has very different notes. So I'm gonna be giving you my thoughts on this fragrance. I'll tell you all about it, what I think about it, but let's go ahead and start things off with a quick look at the presentation. Now my first thought on this fragrance, right when it opens up, I thought it's so juicy. It's juicy, it's fruity, it's sweet. It has this ripe fruity quality about it. And that's not something that you're gonna get from the Parfum Cologne version. The Parfum Cologne version of Elysium, it's very citrusy, it's very diffusive, it's soft, it's aquatic at times, it has the ambergris. This one has ambergris in it too. Yeah, there are some green ingredients in here like galbanum and vetiver, and there's some ambery and resinous ingredients like benzoin as well. A touch of vanilla, which contributes to the amber accord. So there is that bridge from top to middle to base that kind of has these sweet elements to it. So that's always a good thing, of course, if you're a fan of perhaps some sweeter ingredients. But my thought is, you know, they named it O Intense and they got it right. This is actually a more intense version of Elysium, but it also smells different, which is amazing. I think what happens a lot of times is companies will put out a fragrance that pretty much smells the same thing, but they change a few base ingredients around a little bit, and that's not what's happening here. Here, it opens up with that sort of Cassis blackcurrant vibe. There's rhubarb. The rhubarb is giving it this unique aromatic, yet even slightly fruity sort of a vibe. For me, rhubarb has always smelled like strawberry. It doesn't smell too explicitly of strawberry here, but I am getting kind of like this dense, fruity, sort of saccharin vibe from it that I think is really nice. There's lavender, there's thyme, there's artemisia. There's a lot of aromatic ingredients to it as well. And I thought it opened up very nice, very bountiful, aromatic, very juicy, fruity. There's also apple in here. Of course, once you get into the heart is where you'll explore the floral bouquet, the jasmine, the tuberose, the lily of the valley, all of these things. But they're all clean floral ingredients. I think there's also rose de mai. And rose is a really nice ingredient. It's sensual, it's soft, it has some really nice symbolism to it. But I don't really get anything in this fragrance that smells too explicitly of rose. If anything, I get that bright citrus with the lime, the bergamot, but the thing that's different about Elysium O Intense, and of course I'll do a comparison video down the line, is the fact that this smells like a richer, fruitier, slightly sweeter version of Elysium. It has this overripe fruit quality about it in the opening that is so beautiful. And of course, I am reminded of fragrances like Pulp by Byredo. Of course, this one is not as overripe as pulp. That one can be a little bit too intense for some people and I think it's discontinued, but this fragrance is juicy, it's fresh, it's tart, it's aromatic, it's green, it's earthy, it has a 
beautiful olfactory texture. And once again, the thing that I admire the most about Elysium Owen Tense is that it is a change of pace from the original Elysium. So one who has become a pretty devout fan of the original can comfortably explore this fragrance and also find out that this one is actually quite different from its predecessor or predecessors because I know it was available in a few different concentrations but this one is truly beautiful it's that sort of summer nighttime kind of a fragrance if you're looking for something that's not just very bright and effervescent and casual but something that has that extra pizzazz to it I think you'll find something really special with Elysium O Intense. Let's go ahead and finish things off with my overall assessment. Now, first up, in terms of the uniqueness and the overall smell, like I said before, it is unique. It actually smells quite different from the original Elysium, which I really admire. Overall smell, mass appealing, very safe, very easy to wear. It probably doesn't have the same fresh aquatic quality that the original Elysium has. This one is a bit denser, a bit richer, a bit sweeter, a bit fruitier, and it does have those aromatic components. So definitely try it for yourself, but I love the smell. This is going to be very high up in my summer rotation. Longevity on this one is eight plus hours on my skin. The projection was great for the first hour and a half of application. It became an elbows length scent right around hour five, a skin scent right around hour eight. In terms of the versatility, I think this one is a bit masculine leaning. I think this is great for formal or casual scenarios. Perfect for the hotter weather, but I can see myself wearing this one in the autumn as well on account of its density. And I can see anybody of any age enjoying this fragrance and the presentation with this gunmetal looking cap, the beautiful color on the bottle and the, the blue and white contrast on the aesthetics here is really quite beautiful. I think the brand has really outdone itself. My final verdict on this fragrance, I'm so happy to have it in my collection. This along with the Sola Blue, I think the brand has done some wonderful things going forward for the summertime of 2023. The warmer weather is finally upon us. We're in the month of May and I'm so excited to wear this fragrance. Guys, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please do consider supporting the channel by subscribing to it. Hit the bell icon and give this video a thumbs up. Love you guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye.